Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The light is just going to follow me wherever I go. Um, so anyway, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next seven days. Okay, so let's see if we can go over here. So what are we? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. So anyway, what do we have for Sagittarius for the next seven days? Obviously the light, but what fell out of the deck is tankard, celebration, fun, enjoyment. <laughs> so it looks like it's going to be fun. Something is happening that's going to be fun. Now, the date is, the date is, What's the date? So it's the 20th, the 20th through the 27th, okay? Or seven days from the time that you watch it. All my blinds are closed, by the way. So what do we have? What do we have for uh, Sagittarius? You may be in the limelight, okay? It's interesting because all they're closed tight. So obviously the light is sneaking through no matter what I do. Um, you may be in the limelight. You may be shining this week. In Vedic, I am Sagittarius moon, by the way. But anyhow, what do we have for Sagittarius sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the next seven days? I got cat hair on my face. Open door. So we have an open door, a door that is open for you. You may be going through a new doorway. Get one more. Ooh, there's been some sort of bad timing. Um, let's get one more. What do we have for Sagittarius? Next seven days. Ooh, jackpot, jackpot. So you may be hitting some sort of a jackpot in the next seven days. That's a win, a win of some sort. Um, celebration, fun, enjoyment. Already it looks positive. So else do we got? Cat might want to help. I think she probably does. What do we got? What do we got for Sagittarius? She stays. Ooh, we got a thinking man. We got a thinking man. Somebody that is thinking really, really hard about what they have to offer. This person appears to have some sort of, it looks like it's a crystal, but it could also be a rock in their hand. Um, really thinking about what they have to offer. That's what we got. Thinking about what they want. So we do have a man here that is doing a lot of thinking. You're going to go get involved in that? Sounds good, doesn't it? So we got a thinking man here that is thinking about uh, something. He's thinking about what he has to offer, what he has, what he wants. Thinking about going through this doorway. Somebody may be even thinking about a proposal, um, making a proposal. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have for Sagittarius? <laughs> to be fair, to be fair. So somebody else got this as well. I cannot remember who. To be fair, I think it was Gemini. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, you're probably going to have to listen. I think that you're going to have to do some listening. Uh, there's some sort of justice that is being served. Uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and read that like I did for everybody else. I'm just still going to try to get out of the light. Um, balance, justice, a need to consider options, mutual benefit, the law of cause and effect. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing. Yet over time, they strike a balance. You move from being, you move from being, from stasis to doing, from discovering to loving, to letting go, to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of these states, so you will always osculate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment, and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. 
You reap what you sow. For every cause, there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. So I feel like there is something wonderful that is coming. Consider, considering you have jackpot and celebration, fun, enjoyment, and a door that is opening. Okay, I think there's obviously something good that is happening. Can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking. For understanding as well as asking to be understood, there is much to be learned and you will learn if you remain open and objective. Weighing options and considering all sides. Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is one which there is a mutual benefit and each party feels heard, valued, and respected. Be fair to all. Now is a time for even exchanges. Justice will prevail and you will be treated accordingly. In all your affairs, you will be able to no negotiate fair settlements. Mutual gain is the gift to, to you and your partners and colleagues. This is also a good time to square your finances and take stock of how you are how you are compensated for your work. This card signifies balance, justice, and negotiations. So remember that all things must be fairly recompensed. Keep this as your truth, and so it will be. Injustice and in inequity, inequality is all part of life, but they do not have to define your experience. This is a time when you may observe an injustice righted and fairly redressed. Perhaps you've come to the rescue of someone else or are called to answer for a personal slight. This is a time of justice, okay? You will be amazed by the sense of power that surges through you when you stand up for yourself and others. This card also indicates a good time to advocate for others who are less fortunate. Choose your cause and commit to it because you can make a difference. One thing is for certain, if fairness is your intention, the situation will be resolved for the highest good of all concerned through acts of kindness, empathy, and courage. So there's some sort of rebalancing going on here. Everything is happening as it should. This is it's basically a card of justice. Um... So I feel like it's going to be a big week. What do we have for Sagittarius? I know I was going to use this deck. What do we have for Sagittarius? If somebody is really, really thinking, they're thinking about a decision because the thinking man is right next to the to be fair card. So we have a man, it doesn't say woman, okay, it says man. Uh, we have a thinking man that is thinking about a decision that they have to make. Um, you may be getting an offer from somebody uh, that is going to bring balance to your life, whatever this offer is. What do we have for Sagittarius? We had a card flip over or two, two cards. I thought we had another one. Hold on. Nope, just two. So one of them is the Seven of Swords reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed. So the Queen of Cups reversed and the Seven of Swords reversed. Okay, the Seven of Swords reversed may be somebody that is coming clean, owning up, getting caught. You could also be dealing with an untrustworthy individual. I mean, the Queen of uh, cups reverse, maybe somebody that is emotionally withdrawn, maybe there could be some emotional blackmail here, okay, emotions all over the place, somebody that uses their emotions to get what they want, um, some sort of disappointment, somebody could be making an escape, uh, planning something, uh, vindictive behavior. We definitely have, could have some vindictive behavior here. I don't know if somebody is getting caught doing something. I don't know if they've been cheating. Um, Seven of Swords reversed is lies, deception, um, emotions all over the place with the King, Queen of Cups reversed. Um, ooh, the Tower reversed. Now, the Tower reversed is unavoidable change. Okay, it's a painful loss that you never saw coming. Uh, permanent loss, moving, 
it's moving something is happening here there's a change in a foundation a major disruption you definitely never saw it coming there's a lack of intuitiveness here in the seven of swords reversed this is there's something going on that is going on behind the scenes we see we have somebody that's hiding behind a wall here i'm showing it to you upright so you can see it does have to do with this full moon absolutely all is not as it seems when you see a moon it's there's a lot of shadow there's something that is hidden you could be dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio you could also be dealing with a libra gemini aquarius we also have aries here um, with that tower card because it's Mars energy be ready be prepared tower is unavoidable battle unavoidable change um, unavoidable disruption okay get prepared it's gonna be emotional there's a change that is happening it's necessary it's probably I don't know it's heartbreaking it's emotionally disappointing I don't know if somebody's been cheating or they haven't been ignoring their feelings or lying about their feelings or something like that Something is happening where there's going to be an uproar. There's going to be, you're going to be shocked. Something is happening. Um, there's going to change your foundation. Okay. Oh, now we got the King of Cups upright and the Ace of Cups. Woo. So the Ace of Cups is a new start in love. Could be a new love, a new beginning in love with somebody that... You know, somebody's definitely going to be expressing their feelings, okay? This is a flood of emotion. Um, somebody that has a really big heart that probably has good intentions. This person may be offering you support or offering you love or, you know, has some, some sort of tender love and care for you. Or maybe it could just be emotional support. I feel like... Uh, there is somebody here that is looking for love. They're looking for romance. They're uh, very intuitive as well. So there's a lot. There's high intuition here. New start in love. An offer of love. An expression of love. Um, a whole lot of love. There's a. You're going to be shocked. There is. There, you have a lot of support around you, and you may not know it. You may be unaware. You may be completely unaware of it. Um, an expression of love. This is a new start in love. It is. And it could even have something to do with self-love. Very feeling. Maybe your intuition is telling you something. Because this is highly intuitive. So really pay attention to your intuition at this time. I also feel like we have some that you are dealing with an, another person that can feel you. They can feel you. They feel you. We may have somebody here that is separating. They're separating from a false sense of security where they have been deceived, they've been lied to, they've been emotionally manipulated. The tower can be a deception, you know, I mean, a uh, separation. And the seven of swords is the deception, it's the lies, it's getting caught. Or this person may be throwing somebody out. Somebody could be getting thrown out. Okay, it happens extremely fast, very suddenly. Somebody's watching from behind the scenes. Now that Seven of Swords is reversed, so it would make it the moon reverse. This is truths being revealed. And I see that with the To Be Fair card. So I feel like there's somebody that is, something is about to be revealed. You're going to be absolutely shocked. It does have to do, I feel like we have a, a somebody here that has not been acting, um, truthful they haven't been acting truthful they haven't been honest maybe about their feelings there's going to be an 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 explosion of feelings put it that way whether it's good or bad there's going to be it's like whoo things just blow up an explosion of of feelings okay my goodness the lovers this is an unexpected choice right this is this is a kindred spirits it's two people getting together there's a strong attraction here a strong magnetic attraction obviously we have a third party situation here okay we have two people that have a deep connection there's another person that is being rejected okay i feel like there is a sexual uh chemistry and I feel like there's a third party that is being rejected. Okay? The lovers is... Uh, 
deepening a bond, deepening a bond with somebody, making a choice, making a choice. Somebody is making a choice in love. They are the lovers right next to the Ace of Cups. They may have, they may reach a breaking point because of that tower reverse. That is a, it's like, this is a rude awakening. It's a rude awakening. It's, it's like the truth being seen. There's, and now there's like, I, there's no choice. It's like you can't avoid it. This is unavoidable change. This, there's there's big, huge feelings here. Huge feelings. So an explosion of feelings. It does have to do with a third party situation. Can't control the emotions. Uh, can't control the attraction. Um, there's some sort of deep chemistry here. Making a choice. Falling in love. Lovers right next to the Ace of Cups. That is falling in love. Expressing of feelings. Um, following the heart. Somebody's going to be following their heart. They've been hiding hiding feelings, I believe, with that Seven of Swords reverse. This is taking a new approach. We may have somebody here that is heartbroken. They're heartbroken. They've gotten some sort of information that absolutely shocks them. And they're forced to you know, make some sort of move. We have the world card on the bottom, which is a completion. It's a completion of a, of a cycle. Okay, this is the end of a journey. It is the last card. So that means that somebody has gone through quite a bit. They've learned some sort of lesson that has caused their evolution. This cycle is over. Stepping into a new experience. Congratulations. That cycle is over. So a cycle that has really affected your life in a big way, this is something big. It's either a marriage or a relationship or a uh, job or a schooling, you know, something or, you know, that really caused your evolution, caught, taught you some sort of major life lesson. Whatever this phase of your life is, it's over. You're going to be stepping into the next phase. Okay, this is also a card of freedom and success. So I feel like you 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 are headed towards I feel like there's a deep 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 connection here. I really do. A deep love connection, you know. And it and, and maybe it starts with self-love. It could start with self-love. It I do feel like there's a sexual connection here. I don't know if somebody's been cheating and they get caught. You know, they get caught cheating. I feel like there's been some sort of investigation and it, things just blow up. Somebody ends up moving or something like that. I didn't do anything with my hair, so I do apologize. Seven of Pentacles reversed. So Seven of Pentacles reversed is unrealistic, dissatisfied. We got somebody here that is in a dissatisfying situation where... Uh, there's no growth. It feels that, like, like the season is over, right? That's the seven of pentacles. There's, there's no longer any reason to invest in this. So planting seeds someplace else. I also feel like there's some seeds that ha were planted uh, some time ago that are coming to fruition now. Okay. Oops. Oh. Hmm. Let's keep going. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. So this is an offer of love. A message of love. So you may be getting a message of love from somebody. I think that you probably are going to. of wands so this is a fresh start okay this is exciting just go for it. action is about to be taken okay so this is this is exciting exciting new beginning a passionate new beginning a message is coming it's a very exciting message this is definitely a seed a seed of that is being planted or a seed that has grown now that is a red candle which symbolizes love
this is a match it is definitely a match we have the lovers as well so we have a match here we have two people that are coming together in a strong sort of union um, this is an exciting new beginning um, there could also be a separation here with that tower there's some sort of unavoidable change in a foundation um, starting over starting from scratch new start in love exciting new beginning somebody's been hiding their feelings there's gonna be an expression of feelings okay there is um, get prepared you're gonna be receiving a message that probably surprises you it's gonna shock you um, <clears throat> You're going to be having fun. We, this is celebration, fun, enjoyment. New start. Starting over. A welcome message is coming. I feel like there's like Cupid that is bringing you an opportunity for love for some of you, especially if you're single. Okay, there's an opportunity for love here. Good luck. 